Hi there everybody and welcome to this video. Today we'll be talking through VAT in Business Central. Um, so just a heads up that the configuration setup that we're going to do today is setup that you would do in a GB environment only. So it's focusing on VAT or value added tax and um, the setup is um, that which you do in a GB environment. Um, so this is a fresh environment in which I'm just going to talk you through the different elements that we need to consider when we're setting up VAT. Um, so what I'm going to do is just use the search function here to search for a page called VAT product posting groups. Um, so if I go to this page here, I've got the different rates of VAT with which I can transact in my BC environment. Um, so you'll notice here that this is an editable table, so I can add as many records as I want to in here. Just for this demonstration, I've got a VAT rate of zero, VAT at 100%, at 20%, and then VAT exempt. But it is possible to have as many records in here that we want in our BC environment. So VAT product posting groups are typically assigned to um, those entities which you can put onto transactions. So in BC Speak, um, we can assign a VAT product posting group to a general ledger code. So I've just set up one account here just to show you guys that I can assign a VAT product posting group to my GL account card. So if I drop down on the VAT prod posting group field here and say select from full list, this is literally the same table that we were just on, the VAT product posting groups. And you can see here that I've assigned VAT zero as the VAT prod posting group. Um, so here I did this on a general ledger code on my chart of accounts, but equally, you can do the same on items um, and some other entities within Business Central as well. So I don't have any items set up here, but you can add a new uh, item and you can add a VAT prod posting group to those items if you want to. So the next element um, is a VAT business posting group. And um, you can see here, I've got two VAT business posting groups set up in this environment. One is domestic and one is foreign. Um, and typically you would assign a VAT business posting group to your customers and your vendors within Business Central. Um, so if I come here to my customers, I can go to the single demo customer that I have here. And you can see in the invoicing section of the customer card, I've got a field here called VAT Business Posting Group. If I drop down on here and say select from full list, it takes me to the same table that we were just on there, the VAT Business Posting Groups. Um, and you can select the relevant record for your customer. So I'll just very quickly show you that you can also do the same thing on vendors. So if I go to a vendor card, you can go into invoicing here and you can also assign a VAT business posting group. So as with most subledgers in Business Central, uh, we have a matrix table here that brings those two elements together and that table is called the VAT posting setup. Um, and on the VAT posting setup, we have every possible combination of VAT business posting group with every combination of VAT prod posting group that we can transact with on our BC environment. So you can see here, I've just added a record for each of my VAT prod posting group and business posting group combination. So I have domestic with zero, domestic with 100, domestic with 20, domestic with VAT exempt, and then the same for foreign here and here. So some things I should mention here is that the VAT business posting group is usually determining uh, in Business Central who we are selling to or who we're buying from. Um, and as I mentioned earlier, the VAT prod posting group defines the rate of VAT per the transaction. 
Um, and you can put a description in here on this table against each record. Um, you don't have to, but you can if you want to. You can block um, the, the combination of VAT business and uh, VAT prod posting group there. Um, we can add a VAT identifier, which needs to be um, unique ideally per each line. Um, we can use the VAT percentage field here to enter a VAT percentage for each one of these lines. So as you can see here, what I've done is most of my lines here have a VAT percentage of zero, but on the domestic and VAT 20 line here, I have a VAT percentage of 20. Um, so I do have a drop down here for the VAT calculation type where I can set it as normal VAT, reverse charge or full VAT or sales tax as well. Um, and then I have a sales VAT account and a purchase VAT account drop down. So these fields, both of them just look up to my chart of accounts. So if I say select from full list here, it takes me to my GL account list. And I just need to select the relevant account for my sales VAT transactions and my purchase VAT transactions on my general ledger there. Um, so I can also select an account for my reverse charge VAT if I use reverse charge VAT in my environment. Um, and this is basically the table that Business Central will look up when we are inputting transactions. So what we'll do now is let's just go and raise an invoice and I'll show you the VAT engine in action. So I'm just going to raise a new invoice here and let's select our demo customer. Just going to input an external document number and I'm going to select my demo account. Let's go quantity one and unit price 100. And I just need to add a field in here which will allow us to change the rate of VAT. So let me just drop that in here. Press done there. And as you can see here, the VAT prod posting group has come through as VAT zero. So why has it come through as VAT zero? Well, remember on the general ledger code, I had that defined as VAT zero. So if I pull through into here on the GL account card for general ledger code 1000, we've selected VAT prod posting group VAT zero. So that's the reason why it pulls through as VAT zero. But if I want to, I can change the rate of VAT here if I want to. Um, so now I've changed the VAT prod posting group to VAT 20. And you can see here that the total VAT changes to 20. Equally, if I change that back to zero, you can see the total VAT was zero. And I can change it to any other here as well. So if I go exempt, it remains as zero. Um, so let's change that back to 20 there. And what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and process this transaction. So let's go post, yes. Okay, so the invoice is posted and it's moved to the posted sales invoices window. BC is asking if I wanna open the posted invoice. So I'm gonna say yes. And what we're gonna do here is from the posted sales invoice, we're just gonna use the find entries function to review the VAT ledger entries generated. Um, so I'm just gonna click the um, single VAT entry that we got here. And this takes me to a table in Business Central called VAT Entries. This is basically my VAT ledger in Business Central, um, and it tells me the transaction details here. So you can see my VAT business posting group was domestic. My VAT product posting group was VAT 20. Gives me my document number, my posting date, my VAT date. Um, and it gives me here the base amount, and it gives me the VAT amount here as well. Um, I do also have some other fields here, such as the customer number, country, region code, and so on. 
Um, so the VAT entries table is one that will get populated for every different transaction that we do, whether we have VAT on that or we don't have VAT, um, there'll be an entry generated in the VAT entries table. Um, and as you'd expect, you can open this in Excel um, and do any sorts of analysis that you want to on this um, as we wish. So the VAT entries, I went through uh, an invoice there to get there, but I can also just search for the VAT entries table. There's still only that one entry because I've just posted one transaction in this environment. Um, but you can review that table at your leisure by just searching for VAT entries. Now, in the UK, um, we report VAT to HMRC and Business Central fully supports the Making Tax Digital um, functionality. It allows you to submit your VAT using Making Tax Digital to HMRC. Um, unfortunately, I can't demo that for you because this is just a test company. But what I can show you is the VAT statement functionality, which is basically used to collect our VAT entries into a statement that we can then go ahead and submit to HMRC. Um, so on the VAT statement, um, you've got the nine boxes here at the top, which basically allow you to collate all of the VAT that's been posted on your system into the relevant boxes. And we've got the calculation area that falls below those nine boxes just here, where I've got here lines that total my box one, my box two, my box four, and so on. And when I'm ready, I can go in and say preview here, and I can start to set filters in the um, date filter box here but you can see I've got some transactions here and all this is doing is it's looking through to the VAT ledger and showing me the transactions from there. So I can come down to the um, calculation area on my VAT statement and I can drill into each one of these entries and review where they are coming from. So as I say, you would use the VAT statement to submit to HMRC, but I can't do that on here because it's just a demonstration system. Um, but it is the VAT statement that's used to collect the entries into a format that HMRC um, will be able to understand. So I hope that video was useful, guys. Um, if you have any questions, please do reach out. And uh, otherwise, I will see you on the next one. Thank you.